good morning we are going to look at a new series called act of faith and we're going to be using hebrew chapter 11 as our scripture reference hebrew chapter 11 is a very 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 good passage because it combines the topic of faith um, found in both New and the Old Testament and sums it all up in the person of Jesus Christ and um, it really gives us a very good perspective of what faith is and uh, how we can be able to energize ourselves in, a, in our relationship with God as far as faith is concerned um, so we're going to consider this and then look at what God will do. So Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 says that now faith is the confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. This is what the ancients were commended for. I'm reading from NIV verse 3. By faith we understand that the universe was formed as God's command so that what is seen was not made out of what was visible i'll jump verse 4 and 5 and i'll go to verse 6 says that and without faith it is impossible to please god because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him now verse 1 gives us a, the, the very definition of of faith it says that faith is first of all a confidence and faith is also an assurance in the king james version it says that it's a substance and it's an evidence these things are, are these 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 words confidence assurance substance evidence these words are words that are used to describe um, a perspective somebody gets when he has a base or when it is based of something so for example in a court of law the only reason why a jury is going to really really accept your 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 whatever you present when you are arguing your case out is when you have evidence something by which it clears doubt about the truth of what you're talking about um and by that also it gives them confidence in judgment assurance of what they are doing so these things these descriptions are descriptions that are used to describe something that will produce a form of um, um, produce something that actually helps you to be able to do or gives you confidence to be able to do what you have to do so faith is a substance is is an evidence a substance of things hoped for and an, an evidence is it is the evidence of the things that you have not seen and we, so it therefore means that in our relationship with god if you're going to receive anything from god you will have to have the evidence of the fact that the thing that god has said he will do is going to do it and these words are also used to describe something that are based of on fact fact the truth the truthfulness of whatever is happening for instance jesus christ our faith in jesus christ it is it's it's not baseless it is not a leap of faith it is based off of something that is true for instance jesus christ came as a real man lived in this world so we can even consider him as part of people um part of history and 
that he died he lived he died and he resurrected he was born of a virgin mary these are facts that are recorded that are true that cannot be nullified it is as truthful as it is as we can consider people like alexander the great uh, aristotle or even george washington of uh, the first president of america lived these are factual things but the reason why we place our faith in him but not any other person in history is because of the kind of type of person that it is because if it's a truth person if it's true that he came to live and he died and resurrected then he though being a human being is god in human form so by that he 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 is able to receive our faith so faith there is nothing like a leap of faith it is always based on something something of a true nature so if somebody is acting out of faith is acting out of what god has told him and god is truth so then he's acting on it and so it's not baseless you may not understand why he's doing that but there is always a base by which faith is standing on so the bible says that this is what verse 2 this is what the ancients were commended for the ancients our 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 fathers in the faith were commended for their faith for believing for hoping in god about something and because of what they did they are listed here as, uh, in the hall of in the hall of faith. So the first the first test of faith in is in verse three. He said that by faith we understand. Okay, by faith we understand that the universe was formed as God's command, so that what is seen was not made out of what was visible. So the Bible has said that in the beginning. In the beginning god created the heavens and the earth and the earth was without form and void this is this is an act of faith we understand because of who god is we believe that the universe was formed at god's command it is not baseless it is actually based on the particular facts that if you even consider nature in itself you realize that it is actually designed it didn't happen by accident now uh, i want us to end by focusing on hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 said that without faith it is impossible to please god now it is saying that if you do not have faith you can't please god means pleasing god as a child of god requires that you have faith why does he say that because of two things first of all that anyone who comes to him if you are ever going to approach god you must believe that he exists see so in order for you to believe that he exists there should be some things by which you can base your belief on okay and that he rewards you see so not that um, so it's something that you are supposed to have so that you can get the reward if you don't believe god it necessarily means that you don't believe that he rewards and therefore you're not going to get anything from god i want us to have this thing at the back of our mind as we consider act of faith um, every every saturday as it is god bless you and may you continue to walk in faith and base your faith on facts by which you can be able to get rewards from the hands of God. God bless you. Amen.